Je chiri mu sesi sesi yaka sayi face four a Friday in chiri fufra ye ye huno. Ni pa chiri mu din a ye o pipi mu du mieno. Mpi mu a ha a ha san a di o somba kon a ha si an a di o nomba kon a ye twelve million three hundred and seventy one thousand six hundred and fifty one. Na watch re se. When you be a a cosu ye a man a boa a man a man for be a jo muni a se be a kadi chiri mu kosu a subje sano. A man for kwa ni a se mukuma kwa. Ni pa be a ye a kwa mposo muni a di o mbeje muno. I'm the one who Jimu be a airboy. I'm a dictator. You make us so bokwa. Basa basa ye be a enemy. Because to deliver again in 2020, as a matter of fact, to ensure that there isn't irreversibility and to avoid election year slippages that we have come to know, the minister himself, Mr. Speaker, and here I borrow the words of the president from last night. The hard-working, highly patriotic Ghanaian, Ken Oforiata, considered the fiscal responsibility law. Mr. Speaker, we passed the law in this house in 2018. And in there, he set rules. Mr. Speaker, as a matter of fact, at committee, the minister was advised to abandon this. Like, why do you bring a law that says that the deficit shall not exceed 5%? Minister, it's like hanging a noose around your neck. Abandon this. Mr. Speaker, again, this. Hard-working, highly patriotic Ghanaian said, no, I'm going ahead full speed. And then the House passed this law. Then Mr. Speaker, what changed? Suddenly, the COVID-19 pandemic struck. The Speaker, that's the only thing that has changed in the three and a half years of economic management at the MPP. The only thing that has changed is that COVID-19 pandemic struck. Mr. Speaker, the pandemic has shaken the whole world. It has fundamentally damaged the world economy. Mr. Speaker, COVID-19 has killed over 650,000 people worldwide. I think, Mr. Speaker, it has killed over 650,000 people worldwide. And so, Mr. Speaker, forecasts have been lowered everywhere. Mr. Speaker, in October 2019, the projection was for the global economy to grow at 3.4%. Mr. Speaker, when the pandemic first struck, the projection was that the global economy will contract by 3%. This global economy that grew at 2.9% is projected to contract by 3%, negative growth. Mr. Speaker, as we speak, the global economy is projected to contract by 4.9%, page 8, table 1.